back on the same road. Uh, today, today, what is today? It's the 8th of December. I know this, I checked. The 8th of December 2022. And the 8th of December is a day when I thought this morning I'd be just a touch controversial. I try to avoid controversies because you know you lose friends and you can end up in arguments that really don't improve our lives at all but the 8th of December to Roman Catholics around the world is the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception and that is slightly controversial because it is a dogma of the Roman Catholic Church. It isn't universally accepted. Uh, the word Catholic, you know, depending how you use it, whether you use it with a big C or a little c, can mean different things and there are universal truths that all Christians will be celebrating as we run towards Christmas. We all acknowledge the important role of Mary and Joseph. We all know the story of the innkeeper who some of you possibly played at the school nativity when you were six and said there was no room at the inn. Those are sort of universal, small c Catholic truths. But today is a Roman Catholic uh, festival. The Immaculate Conception of Mary, Mother of Jesus. It is not accepted, for example, by the Eastern Orthodox Church. And it's actually quite a quite a recent dogma coming from the 1850s. The idea that Mary was born without original sin. And not all theologians accept that. Her parents, and I'm working from memory, so forgive me if I get this wrong. Anne and Joachim, and, you know, we are told in the Roman Catholic dogma that the conception of Mary was without lust. And the Eastern Orthodox says, mm, no, she was conceived in the normal way. So let's walk away from the controversy and think about how Mary's life compared with the lives of the average mother in a Western society. The average mother, she's worried about whether there's going to be a frozen turkey at the shops today. She's worried about whether she's remembered to get everybody a, a, a card and a present. Perhaps we can all think about Mary, who her Christmas was somewhat difficult. Heavily pregnant, riding on a donkey, feeling every bump on the road going to Bethlehem, Joseph hadn't booked ahead, you know, he hadn't gone online and organised an Airbnb, and yeah, it was all, uh, all a struggle and a, 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 a difficulty for Mary, you know, the fear of childbirth safe childbirth is a relatively modern thing. You know, what was going to happen to poor Mary? Well, I hope that we all know the rest of the story. They got to Bethlehem. They did find a place to sleep. 
not exactly a five-star hotel and she did give birth to the baby Jesus Christmas without Christ is a very empty and hollow thing for many people it will simply be an excuse to behave badly so perhaps we can all join today in thinking about Mary thinking about the infant that she carried and thinking about the reason for the season well that's the uh, the shopping done and dusted um, it's a little bit surreal a supermarket in France is pretty much the same as a supermarket in England or Germany or I guess anywhere in the world and you walk in and you know there's all the people hustling about stacking shelves and other people stacking their trolleys and things like that but of course like all supermarkets it has music played at you whether you like it or not and this morning was a little bit surreal you know there I am looking at the price of pork chops and in the background on the uh, music player was Satchmo um, oh what's his name Armstrong Louis Armstrong singing wonderful world I see trees are green red roses too and I thought well that that's pretty surreal for a supermarket in the middle of France and then I thought crikey how long has Louis Armstrong been dead The next song um, was Santa Claus is Coming to Town in English and I thought I wonder how many people here know all the words but there we are that was shopping done now it's back to well the first job of the day cutting firewood